Hey booktube, here is my trip to the Tucson Festival of Books. I'm Jen and I talk about audiobooks and recently I had the privilege of attending the Tucson Festival of Books. It was wonderful. This is held in Tucson, Arizona on the campus of the University of Arizona and a lot of it, it's outdoors for the most part um, they do run some panels in some of the education classrooms and auditoriums uh, but it's very low-key i went to scottsdale and stayed with my good friend karen and she is an absolute pro when it comes to going to that particular festival or phoenix comic-con book con she knows the drill there are not a lot of lines at this festival i walked right up and just you know had them sign the book i had time to stand and chat with them a little bit i was able to say things about audiobooks um, I got a chance to talk with Scott Kelly. I said, hey, you know what? You're a really good audiobook narrator. And uh, I listen to a lot of them and I feel like I'm an expert. So <laughs> you're really good. So here are some excerpts from the festival. David. Yeah, this is how I look in the mornings. Yeah, not good. I woke up a little scared when I looked in the mirror. So, you know, there's all kinds of things to do in Tucson, and that's the great thing about a book festival. You don't just do the book festival. That's you right. do other stuff, too, and we're staying at this amazing hotel. So here's us in the morning trying to get our act together. <laughs> This is where I'm sitting. This is next to me. This is on the other side. There's <laughs> My only request was that they don't wreck the car because I will die. I see your signing area. Big time planning. And so oh, I picked that one because I want to see all three. And, the and so I was like, three and Definitely one is the first. So yeah, these are the last ones we're putting in our totes. We're doing okay. those now. So. Let's get this day going. I need some coffee though. Definitely need to hit Starbucks. Everything's waking up. I've left them all behind. They're all talking about where the bookstores are and I need coffee. Coffee is critical to life. Critical to life. Or at least critical to a book festival. Authors, Snack break because you got to take breaks and hydrate, hydrate, hydrate. How are you? I got to take a little Day two. Oh. We have far less books to have signed today, so the little rolly uh, backpack thing is not nearly as full. So, of course, we had to take a Starbucks break, so we're all sitting around. Oh, hi. I, I, I like this idea that the romance is in service to each other. Exactly. And that's how I like it. Like they would write a donation like check to us saying, I can't like, take it anymore, but you're doing great work. I just can't read you anymore. And it was because we were just. And I just went and bought Adrian's book. Look, even though it's not on audio, this is how convinced I am that it's going to be fabulous because I just think it's going to be great. And there she is, and there's Paolo, and I have to hear you pronounce her last name. Now I know. Just came in to the Veronica Roth panel. This is going to be busy. Um, the answer to that part of the question is no, I would not change the ending. I know a lot of people disagree with me and that's fine. Everyone's allowed to have their own opinion about it. But as the author, I'm like, no, that's the ending I wanted. The thing about Divergent specifically is that if you're making a dystopia, you have to create a world that actually feels dangerous. Um, because otherwise, like, you diminish the importance of what the characters are fighting for. So you have to kill people, in my opinion, in dystopia. Um, so for me, it was just like, I'd come to a place in the narrative and be like, oh no, this person is gonna die. Like, so it wasn't a choice so much as just an inevitability. Well, um, for me, 
being a Christian affects the way I see the world, um, the way I think about morality, you know, it affects me as a human. My intention is not to preach to anyone ever through these books because um, I feel like I have a special responsibility writing for young people to only invite questions. Like, I think it's important for people to discover what they believe about the world for themselves. So I don't want to push anything into their minds. I want them to ask themselves what they think about things. So if it informs what I write, it's only because it informs me. This is my uh, Girl Power book. Do you have daughters? To the handmaid's tale. No, it's, I don't actually have a son. Oh. Uh, I hope he's a feminist. He better be. <laughs> <laughs> In my house. Yeah. Why did you start writing YA? Uh, I just liked YA. I, um, I don't have a great reason for that, except for the characters that were talking to me were younger protagonists, and, and I prefer the pacing of YA books. They tend to be a little... Faster. faster yeah yeah so me um, too. it just worked it just worked for me as a writer and then I just kind of kept doing it <laughs> well it's working yeah obviously <laughs> you. it's working yeah, really really well wow. this was really good so I wrote the last uh, the last scenes in three when I was in labor with my son <laughs> and I was um, Wait, did, I, while you were yeah I was I had started contractions and they oh were pretty far gosh. apart but I, I wanted to finish it because I thought I'm never gonna write anything again I have to finish it right now I have to you know and um, so that's why that's why everybody dies <laughs> of all the things really briefly, 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 briefly. that you can collect they'll be there enough books are the best oh yeah so hey, what are you reading right now what am I reading mm -hmm. I actually um, well I'm editing my book that comes out next year so I'm reading that like since five o'clock over and over but um, I have a book to start with me on this trip called uh, Nixia Unleashed I just got you got the art. art you got the I have the art have yes, yes oh my gosh I love have you started it that no. book Nixia was great right oh man Nixia. Oh, Scott man. is also a wonderful like person, so I was really excited. Yeah. But yeah, um, I, I just got it, so yeah, I, I would it's my next. Yeah. It's my Head back to my gate to go home. Uh, overall, it was an amazing experience, and I'm glad I went. I went last year, and I loved it. I went this year, loved it, and next year, I hope to do the same. If you ever get a chance to go, by all means, go. It's wonderful, and if you go next year, let me know, because I would love to say hello. So that's it for now for me. I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching.